I know you all have been dying to see what this season's Big Brother Ninja house looks like. Don't worry guys, you're going to be blown away. When I first saw the pictures, guys, I lost my senses for a bit. I was dumbstruck. I was impressed. I was overly impressed. I was wowed. I was amazed. I had all manner of emotions. Like, I just had to tell myself that whoever is behind the architectural design of this house, the, the, the design, the, the interior, everything, that person is an absolutely freaking genius. Guys, trust me. So this morning, so in this video, I'm going to be taking you guys on a virtual tour around the Big Brother Ninja Lockdown Season 5 house. So brace yourselves as I take you on this amazing journey. And not just that guys, I'm going to be giving you guys more information about um, the new twist to the game and also for how long the game will last. I think I mentioned that in yesterday's video but a lot of people did not really catch it. So people were still sending me DMs on Instagram and asking me messages about it. So I'm going to answer all of your questions regarding the entire season's show, how it's going to be played and every other information you need to know about. Without much further ado, let's jump into the video. So guys, the first picture you are seeing is the entrance and the exit door. Like guys, this one is so beautiful. I love the red color. I love how sharp it looks. I love how beautiful it looks, you know? So this is the door through which the housemates got into the house yesterday. And this is still the same door that they are gonna be exiting the house if for any reason any of them is evicted. The next picture you are seeing is the lounge or the living room, guys. That living room, man, it's so big, it's massive, it's spacious, way, 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 way bigger than the previous Pepper Dem Gang house. Like, guys, this one is simply beautiful. Like, take a look at the chairs, the interior, the tables, the chairs. It is absolutely beautiful. And in that same living room, we have, of course, the almighty HOH chair. The HOA chair, guys. This is the chair that the head of house is going to sit and relax and exude all of his power and authority. Guys, this HOA chair simply reeks of elegance. It's simply beautiful and it also smells of authority, power. So I can imagine how excited the first housemate to become HOH will feel when they sit on that chair. Now, the next picture you're seeing is the kitchen my god guys can you see the kitchen the kitchen is so beautiful oh my goodness like guys i don't know but i must commend all the work all the hard work put into designing this entire house it's simply amazing like guys i did not see it coming in as much as i was busy giving my predictions i did not see it coming i literally did not even imagine that this house was going to look this way it's simply beautiful very spacious more than five people can even be in the kitchen at the same time and nobody is working around anybody here the next picture you're seeing guys is the dining guys take a look at the dining it is so beautiful i completely love it it's so beautiful simple elegant everything in this house guys this season reeks of elegance and class and i can see the same thing in all the housemates that were selected to be on the show i can smell all around them you know elegance and the next picture you're seeing guys is just the door of the diary room remember last season's diary room door was quite small right but this one is actually really really white i have a feeling that the theme of this year's um bb niger um, house color and design is actually white and i completely love it i think it's off white not really the sharp white you know because of all the lights in the house so that's the diary room door we did not see inside the diary room so um i believe that from next week when the housemate starts having the diary sessions we will definitely see what inside the diary room looks like guys i cannot wait I cannot wait. I am so sure that this one is going to look simply beautiful. The next picture you're seeing, guys, is the bedrooms. Oh my god. Guys, the bedrooms are so beautiful. I love the difference, the disparities in colors, you know, of the designs of the of the bed sheets, the bed designs, the bed covers. I love the colors. I love the difference. I feel like the other color has a theme for guys and the other color that is sort of sky bluish has a theme for girls. Totally, totally beautiful and amazing. But then guys, Biggie is playing pranks with this housemate. Can you believe that 
the beds in the house it is not going to be enough so i mentioned in um, my video earlier that um two housemates already had a squabble over who is going to sleep on which bed okay so there's not enough bed space and last night when the housemates were sleeping two housemates have to share one bed so guys <laughs> i cannot wait for all the tricks and you know tricks and tricks and tricks that biggie has for those housemates you know and also guys can you notice also that there's another bed upstairs i'm having a feeling that is for the deputy head of house because remember one of the twists of the game is going to be that aside from having a hoh there's also going to be a deputy head of house. Remember when we were in school, you know, we used to have class captain, assistant class captain, even in every state, right? Where there's a leader, where there's a ruler, there's the president and there's a vice president, governor, um, vice, uh, be, is it executive governor or assistant governor? <laughs> guys please correct me i feel like i'm shooting myself in the leg right here but guys i completely love the structure of this house i love the idea of having bedrooms downstairs and bedrooms upstairs and it's simply beautiful i am having a feeling also i didn't know if the room upstairs is going to be for the deputy hoh or it's going to be like a love pad for the housemates who knows let's stay tuned and watch out so guys the next picture you're seeing is the hoh lounge oh my god guys this lounge alone hmm, i can imagine how competitive the hoh position or status in that house is going to become it's going to become very very stiff it's going to become highly highly competitive because trust me the hoh lounge it's a freaking vibe of its own it's like you're in an entirely different universe of your own still inside biggie's house the hoh pad oh my god guys the hoh pad it has its own tv its own um city um city couches it's simply beautiful the bathroom is simply amazing very beautiful guys anybody that's going to stay in that room i'm sure that when that person comes out when their tenure ends as hoh for that week i'm sure that they're going to work extra hard to win hoh again because guys this is simply beautiful i can't even explain how excited i am about this the next picture you're seeing guys is the darling hair salon this is one of the best initiatives of this entire house because guys as at last season and the previous seasons the the the, the salon had to be like um an impromptu or like a prompt construction in the garden you know and then when it's raining whether it's sunny the housemates have to be in the garden making their hair preparing themselves for the live eviction show against sunday so i love the fact that whoever is behind the structure and the reconstruction or the setup or the architectural design of this house put into consideration that the weather could change anytime i remember guys this period in nigeria i feel like it's a bit of a rainy season and a bit of a harsh sunny season you know so the weather is quite unstable at this period so i'm really really glad that they put all of that a lot of thoughtfulness into you know the structure of this house the fact that the salon is inside the house it makes it simply amazing it's all about convenience it's all about comfort in as much as these housemates are going to be fighting for 85 million naira. that's one of the best initiatives so far for me um, the next picture you're seeing guys is the garden oh my god ah! somebody give me air i need air i can't breathe I, I need air like guys can you see what i'm seeing can you see what i'm seeing can you see the walls guys if these housemates were to have phones inside the house i'm sure they're gonna take one million selfies in that house the garden is to die for once again, I even heard that Joe, former ex um, ex housemate from Pepperdam Gang, Joe is one of the people that's behind the design of this house. I don't know how true that is, but if Joe is actually behind the design of this house, that guy deserves some freaking accolades, man. Like seriously, guys, this house is so beautiful. The garden is everything. Last season, the garden had grass, uh, makeshift grass on the floor, grass carpet, but this one, it's all like wooden tiles or wooden boards on the ground you know so it's simply beautiful i completely love it simply amazing right and then another highlight of the garden is the bed oh my god you know this kind of shaded um cubana beds that you see in beach houses guys it's there i mean the housemates whichever housemates that start a relationship in the house they can literally have their own private space you know in the garden to profess love to each other you know that kind of romeo and juliet kind of vibe i love it and also guys i have a suspicion that 
Guinness being one of the sponsors of this season's Big Brother Niger show. They are the ones behind putting the garden together. I don't know guys, but look at their design on the bed. I completely love it, right? And it also looks, the garden also has this feeling of a men's pad, you know? Men going out there, smoking their cigars, having their conversations, talking about their women, stuff like that. I completely love the vibe. And also guys, can you spot the jacuzzi? The jacuzzi is simply beautiful. Way, way, way beautiful the last season's one. Guys, a lot of thought, a lot of process, a lot of ideas went into this house and I am absolutely impressed. The arena guys, um, I couldn't really get a picture of the arena but um, I saw the arena this morning whilst the housemates were having their exercise and I feel like the arena is quite small. I, th I feel like it's not really as spacious as last season's one. I didn't really see it properly so maybe when they start the arena games then I'll be able to um, conclude if it's quite small or quite okay in size and now guys on to the twists and turns of this season's big brother ninja show don't mind me guys my eyes are just starting to and fro right okay so um I, I mentioned this the other day but i'm gonna say it all over again now in this season's show it's gonna be only 10 weeks right if you calculate it's, it's running into about i think 70 something 76 or 71 days right and um, i'm wondering why because last season ran into i think 91 or 93 days you know so i'm wondering why this season is going to be so short i don't know why you know i don't know why but let's see how it goes you never can tell there might be more twists and turns you know but the second twist to this season's show is um the betway wallet which i explained in my previous video it's gonna be a virtual wallet so when the housemates engage in any house task in any arena games in any competition whatever they win they're not gonna have like a physical cash or physical coins this one is not gonna be like bet ninja coins of last year this one is betway you know sponsored by betway another betting company so it's gonna be like a virtual purse right so whatever you win whatever you want to buy whatever you want to do with your money it's gonna be in your wallet and um, another thing that a twist in this season is the nomination process that has not been revealed to us yet but Ebeka mentioned it in the launch show yesterday and I am so looking forward to what's gonna happen okay another thing again is the deputy HOH I already mentioned that um, in previous seasons we always had just one head of house you know so this time around there's gonna be a head of house and assistant head of house aka deputy head of house and the deputy head of house role also comes with a lot of privileges let's watch out for it guys um another thing again is the voting process guys i also explained that in my previous video the voting process is going to be in different tiers. normally you can vote for your favorite housemate via sms via um you know voting online you know but now voting has now been upgraded to according to the dstv subscription package you have so if you are on to compact you might possibly get probably 750 votes if you're on to compact plus possibly <coughs> um i think um 1005 like that like that like that so guys i think i just have to put a picture here so you guys can literally understand it so guys basically these are all the twists and turns of the big brother ninja season and also guys ibuka also mentioned that more surprises are gonna be popping up once in a while so guys i'm seriously anticipating a lot to happen in this season i'm already enjoying the vibes from the housemates and i love the fact that the housemates are very very creative i mean since yesterday they got into the house they've been very very innovative with um things to do to keep themselves busy they've been very very genius about it all you know i love the fact that there's this good vibe going around but guys i know that all those good vibes will definitely be short-lived once the competition starts in full mode this week i feel like biggie just is giving them time to get to know themselves get to study each other and from what i'm seeing already these housemates they're getting to know each other and some of them hmm they are maintaining their distance studying everybody and this morning also somebody mentioned that <laughs> hey that um some of the housemates in the house are very very toxic and guess who that person is tricky t tricky t mentioned that some people in this house are toxic and i'm wondering like hey kilo deo what's going on already anyways don't worry i'll give you all the juicy details about that conversation in my next video that's all for this particular episode that's all for this particular episode <laughs> of 
of frankly speaking with glory and um, thank you guys so much for watching let me know in the comment section what you think about this new season's house i really want to know your thoughts on this one thanks for watching guys um have a nice day